Introducing the horses this afternoon's third race. These are two fillies in the $12,600 final of the Millen Acres pace. Racing one mile, the one is Western Bridal. All by Gene and Mrs. Gene Regal of Greenville, Allen Regal trains David Miller driving. Number two, Stace and Stevie, owned by Earl Engel of Bellbrook, Tom Horner Jr., training Randy Tharpsa. Three, Arizona Jane, owned by Steve Jones of Montgomery, New York, Chip Noble, trains and drives. Four is Clambered Hag, owned by Augie Blothens of Springfield, Allen Regal, the trainer Don Irvine, Jr. Five, come on, get happy, owned by Saul North, Lots of Pompano Beach, Florida, Todd Christie, trains Eric Ludford, driving. The six, Carol G, owned by Jack Ader of Clarksburg, Dan Ader, trains and drives. Seven, Chrissy Q, owned by Alan Quinn of Deland, Florida, Jeff Fount is the trainer driver. The eight, Satin Tile, owned by Gary and Darley Cattleer of Fort Jennings, and Mary Vonderwell of Delphus. Gary Cattleer is the trainer, drivers change to J Cross. Cross. And from post nine, bam, she's out. Owned by Charles Park of Xenia, Ron Wallace trains Hugh Betty Jr. in the Sonke. Win place show perfect a super. Two year old pacing fillies in the 1996 Millen Acres final lining up and moving in. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And the one horse Western Bridal off stride momentarily. And uh, they're off, and it's Carol G who fires hard from the center of the track for the lead towards the inside. Arizona Jane came away second. Far outside, Satin Towel is third. Between horses in fourth, it's Clambert Hag, and from the inside of five, Stacey and Stevie at the rail in sixth. Western Bridal after the uh, sluggish start. Inside in two lengths, seventh. Come on, get happy. Another three lengths, eighth to Chrissy Q. Bam, she's out is the early trailer. Here is the first quarter, 27 and 2, and on the front, Carol G calling the shots here, a length and a half, but Clambered Hag is moving on the outside, and she's coming steadily, and now she surges to the front. Clambered Hag takes that lead away from Carol G. Arizona Jane on the inside is racing in third. Satin Tile ranging up for the outside in fourth. Stace in Stevie at the rail in fifth. Western Bridal takes live cover in sixth. Bam, she's out. Is underway. And on the inside, saving ground smartly. Come on, get happy. Far back following a break. The driller is Chrissy Q. Half 55 and three. And they fire to the back stretch. And Clambered Hag is not looking back here. She leads by four on the inside and racing in second is Carol G. Arizona Jane is out racing in third. Stacy and Stevie with that cover but now she'll lose it as Arizona Jane ducks back down to the inside. Bam, she's out, finds herself locked in here. Fifth half the rail, three quarters, 125 and four as they round through the final turn. And it's Clambered Hag and Irvine urging her on Stace and Stevie at 25 to one. She's pulled off an upset before and she's within striking distance. Come on, get happy to the outside as they turn for home. Lost it an eighth and down the stretch they come. Stace and Stevie on the outside. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. Another long shot, 21 to 1. And this one's going to come on, get happy. Who gets up to win it in 158 over Stasen's TV and uh, Arizona Jane. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside in the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of this afternoon's Middle Acres Pacing Series final from post five, come on, get happy. She's a two-year-old daughter of the great Sire Log. From a Walton Hanover mare, Royal Harmony. Old by Saul North, Los of Pompano Beach, Florida, Todd Christie trains Eric Lanford in the Sonke. Come on, get happy, recording her third lifetime win, and that is a lifetime best. 158 flat track side to make the trophy presentation from uh, Augie Blevins Tour and Travel, Mr. Augie Blevins.